Live from the Xfinity Center here in College Park, Maryland. You get out doing that stage tonight, and you make our city proud. The 2018 MPSSAA 1A Boys State Finals, Fairmont Heights Hornets, the Dunbar Poets. Just a family. Everybody treats each other like a family. If somebody needs something, they don't they go out of their way. Okay? Have fun. BTA, baby, let's go. Dunbar and a man-to-man -man defense. Ball right side, the big fella connects. And he's gonna insist on making those shots. Not a lot of people have the character to be in the position that you guys are in. Finds the guard there, Darren Lucas White drives in. Big step and the lay and it's good. And the foul. I can tell you one thing, they get the ball down very quickly. You just watch them throw the ball over. He's this tall. So as soon as he goes, jump. Five All-State players. Two academic All-State players. Six All-County guys. Fellas, I'm so proud of you guys, man. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Seku Arena. We got a little chaotic for a while, but uh, we settled down, made a run. Dickey trying to drive it. They're going to oh. count it. Okay, and one. Except some people on 20. She's a very tough cover. Uh, she's University of Delaware's on the jury. Our bench has been tough, and we talk about that all the time, that it's going to take, you know, eight to ten girls to step up. Little two-point J from the side, no good. Rebound by Scott. She gets the basket and the foul. You know we wanted to keep the team mentality the whole game. Oh, and a wow. steal by Michaela. Wow. And the basket. And four seconds on the shot clock. Roosevelt has to get it off. Oh, with only one on the shot clock. My goodness. And, and there, there it is. is. The legacy of excellence continues for the Roosevelt Raiders, their ninth state title. It wasn't like a one-person show. That's what we definitely didn't want to um, go towards because that's kind of why we lost last year. So it just kind of all fell into place. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow, all right? This is your last game in a Largo uniform. Take what you own. Own it and go win you a championship. These are the smallest schools in the state, but that doesn't mean that they're lacking for talent at all. Long three-point attempt, wow. and it's good. And not only was it good, it was like water oh, splash. Nice hook shot by Tanita White. 110. Something's got to happen. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Tania White drives in, gets the basket in the foul! They got the full court press going. They get it forward. Courtney Roth behind the defense, puts it up and in. Southern regains the lead. The foul! What in the heaven's name is going on right here? But it was team control because the But y'all can't take of, the point away. No, listen, team, team control, so Red had the ball. Uh -huh. It was a team control um, foul, so there's no free throw. So right, the but you can't take my point away. If it wasn't, it's you can't. We, we already shot it, you can't it's take a that away. It's a correctable error, Coach. It's a correctable error. We already got This game, it's starting to come a little bit off the rails <laughs> here. <laughs> the Southern Garrett Rams are your 1A state champions. Got to take my hat off to Largo. All their key players almost fouled out of the game. They stuck in there. A lot of controversy. I'm proud of all of them. My girls, they play hard. They play hard from jump ball to the end. You've got a team in Bladensburg that they have the chance to win their first state title since 1973. It don't mean a lot. Then decades since Blade won a state championship. But we know that the first four minutes of this game that's about to come up is be really big. Trying to end that drought here is there's the floater, 5-0 Mustangs. Here they come.
they go on the break. Kick out three. Got it. Williamson cans it. Mustangs into the locker room with a six point lead. Well, they've been able to go to work a bit as Flintsburg answers with the runner. Nothing there, Oladapo smacks at it. Stays with the Gators, they find it back underneath and he lays it in. Oh, very nice. But it's Hartnett. Comes up the floor, drives for the layup. You can't stop this man. You can't stop this man. And that will do it. Perry Hall repeats as state champs. One thing I know about our kids, and it ain't just our athletes, it's our students as well. Um, adversity teaches you how to, how to you know, get strong and get better at it. It hurt, man. Uh, it hurt, you know, my last year, you know. But, uh, I hope it just teach the young guys, you know, a lot, you know, keep them motivated for next year. And, um, 